Hi everyone, bonsoir, this is Sharik and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. This is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson dedicated to my Lebanese Arabic students. Today is Valentine's Day, so our lesson is going to be related to Valentine's Day, love and good wishes as well. Before I begin, let me apologize because yesterday I didn't upload a lesson, so something went wrong in our 30-day challenge. Yesterday was supposed to be day 16, but I was very sick, so I couldn't upload a lesson. But don't worry, tomorrow I'm going to upload two lessons instead of one to make it up for yesterday. So first of all, let me begin by apologizing in Arabic and then we will move to uh, talking about Valentine's Day and what people do on Valentine's Day, what we buy, roses and so on. So, بعتذر منكن, بعتذر, I apologize, منكن, منكن means from you all in the plural. If I'm talking to one person, I would say بعتذر منك, منك. And if I'm talking to a girl or a woman, I would say بعتذر منك. So منك is masculine, منك is from you, feminine. بعتذر منكن, from you, plural. I'm pronouncing it بعتذر. The actual verb in standard Arabic is اعتذر and we pronounce it with a ذ. But in Lebanese Arabic, we take the ذال and we pronounce it as a ز, زين, بعتذر. And sometimes in other words, we pronounce it as a د. In this word specifically, we pronounce it بعتذر. بعتذر منك, بعتذر منك, بعتذر منكن. بعتذر منكن ما قدرت حضر درس مبارح. ما قدرت, I couldn't. قدرت is I could. ما قدرت, I couldn't. ما قدرت حضر, prepare. ما قدرت حضر I couldn't prepare درس a lesson مبارح yesterday بعتذر منكن ما قدرت حضر درس مبارح I want to say to make it up for yesterday I will give you two lessons tomorrow بكرة رح أعمل درسين بكرة tomorrow رح أعمل I will do بكرة رح أعمل درسين two lessons so درس is one lesson درسين the, with the AIN sound in the end, that's two lessons. Bukra rah amul dersin. Kirmel awid an liyum. Kirmel so that. Kirmel awid. Awid means make it up. Kirmel awid so that I make it up. And in Arabic we say awid an. And an literally means about, but in, in this case we mean to make it up for. Kirmel awud an mbirh yesterday, so I can make it up for yesterday. So bukra rah amul dersin. Tomorrow I will do two lessons. Kirmel awud an mbirh, so that I make it up for tomorrow. Let's begin with Valentine's Day, and today I'm gonna start with the first expression. Actually, the first thing you need to know is what does Valentine's Day mean? We say Eid al Ashe, or we can also say Eid al Hub. Eid al which means the celebration day of the lovers, or Aish, by the way, is the singular form of Aish, and Aish means the person who is in love, the person who is infatuated or passionate. That's the Aish masculine, and in the feminine form, we say Aish, but in the plural, we say Aish. Eid al is the the celebration day or the 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 Eid alone means Eid in English you pronounce it Eid but it's actually Eid and it means in French fête which is the feast in English as well we can say but in this case I would say the day of okay the celebration day of Eid al the day of the lovers which means Valentine's Day the second way we can say this is Eid al hub the day of love Again, the celebration day of love, which means the day of love, which means Valentine's Day. So, Eid al or Eid al Hub, or sing simply you can say in French, Saint Valentin, that's how we say it, Saint Valentin in French, in Lebanon, or we say it in English but with the Lebanese accent, Valentine. <laughs> okay, so Eid Valentine or Eid Valentin, we say Eid Valentin. Okay. وكمان اليوم عيد خيي and also today is my brother's birthday وكمان also اليوم today عيد 
the birthday خيي my brother I can also say عيد ميلاد literally the day the celebration day of the birth عيد ميلاد خيي it's my brother's birthday so بتمنيلو بتمنيلو عيد ميلاد سعيد I wish him a happy birthday تنيناتنا the two of us تنيناتنا خلقانين we are born تنيناتنا خلقانين ب شباط in February تنيناتنا خلقانين خلقان means born the borns and when I'm saying خلقانين I'm saying the borns and when I say خلقان the person who is born so I'm not using a verb here it's a participle so تنيناتنا خلقانين that's because it's plural. If it's masculine, I would say خلقين. If it's feminine, I would say خلقين. With the same root. تنيناتنا, the two of us, خلقينين. We are born بشباط in February. أنا كتير بحبه لخيي. I love my brother very much. Let's continue. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. I will say عيد حب سعيد. عيد حب سعيد. Or I can say بتمني لكم بتمني لكم I wish you all عيد حب سعيد You see I'm not saying here عيد الحب سعيد No Because I'm saying I wish you all a, a happy Valentine's Day That's why I have to remove the L Which means the Okay In this case I'm saying بتمني لكم عيد حب سعيد بتمني لكم I wish you all عيد means the celebration day Hub means love and Saeed means happy. This is one way of saying it. Otherwise, I will say just like you say it in English, Happy Valentine's Day. You can say the same in Lebanon. Most people would, would probably say that. I am going to wish that all of your days would be filled with love and happiness. Inshallah, tkun kil iyam kun miliyane hub u Saeed. Let me repeat this. Inshallah, tkun. كل أيامكم مليانة حب وسعادة إن شاء الله means I hope but literally if I break this down it means if God wills إن شاء الله إن شاء الله that's how we say it in standard Arabic إن شاء if he wills Allah God but we put them together we smash them and we put them together in Lebanese Arabic or in spoken Arabic and we say إن شاء الله Inshallah, which means if God wills, but even if you're not religious, you can say Inshallah because you're ju- you just mean I hope. Inshallah, tkun tkun, they would be tkun kill iyam kun all your days iyam days iyam kun your days kill iyam kun all your days tkun kill iyam kun all your days would be. Inshallah, tkun kill iyam kun. You can also say inshallah kil iyam kun tkun. You have the option of putting tkun after iyam kun. So inshallah kil iyam kun tkun. Miliyane. Miliyane means full of. Miliyane. It's the feminine form of million. Million also means full of. But here I'm using the feminine form because I'm saying that your days will be filled or would be filled. And when I have a plural of a noun in Arabic and I want to use an adjective with it, we use a feminine singular adjective. So, inshallah, tkun kil iyam kun miliyane and not miliyane. Miliyane, hub, love. Wu sa'ede. Sa'ede means happiness. Inshallah, tkun kil iyam kun miliyane, hub, wu sa'ede. I also want to mention that today people buy red roses, flowers, gifts, or teddy bears to their boyfriends or girlfriends. So, اليوم, I, or I can say مثل اليوم, like today. مثل اليوم, الناس بيشتروا or بيشتروا uh, ورود حمر أو زهور أو هدايا أو دبب لأصحاب or صحبات. Let me repeat this. مثل اليوم, like today, الناس, the people, الناس بيشتروا or I can pronounce it بيشتروا, they buy. The people, they buy. الناس بيشتروا uh, ورود حمر red roses so I'm saying red roses ورود حمر because I'm using ورود I'm also using an adjective that is in the plural so if it's one red rose I would say ورد حمر that's the singular ورد singular حمر 
singular feminine. But because it's in the plural, I'm saying Urud, which is the plural, and Humr is the plural form of Ahmar. Urud, Humr. So, مثل اليوم, الناس بيشتروا Urud, Humr, أو زهور, or flowers. Zahra is one flower. Zuhur is many flowers. أو زهور, أو هدايا. هدية is in the singular form. هدية. هدايا is in the plural form. أو هدايا and I'm going to say or even teddy bears أو دبب دبب دب is a bear دبب is bears it's the actual animal as well so the stuffed animal is also called دب or دبب in, in Arabic okay أو دبب لأصحاب to their boyfriends أو لصحبات to their girlfriends I'm going to break this أصحاب and صحبات in a minute but let me repeat the sentence so مثل اليوم الناس بيشتروا ورود حمر أو زهور أو هدايا أو دبب لأصحاب or صحبات now أصحاب is the plural form of صاحب and it's the masculine form and صحبات is the plural form of Sahbe with a te marbuta. Now, usually this word can mean two things. It can mean just a friend or it can mean boyfriend or girlfriend. So, for example, if I have a boyfriend, I would say sahbe. Or if you have a girlfriend, you would say sahabte. Sahbe, my boyfriend. Sahabte, my girlfriend. But sometimes when I say sahabte, sahabte jaye, for example, my friend is coming in this case. Sahabte. So it depends on the context. It, it, you know from context that the person means boyfriend, girlfriend, or friend. But personally, I like to use the word rfi more when it's a friend, rfi. But when it's a boyfriend, I would say sahib, okay? Rfi e would be my friend, and sahbe would be my boyfriend. So, the plural form of sahib is ashab, which also means friends, and sahbet means girlfriends, or just friends as well, female friends, okay? Let's repeat the whole sentence. مثل اليوم الناس بيشتروا ورود حمر أو زهور أو هدايا أو دبب لا أصحاب أو لا صحبات كمان بيشتروا كروتة they also buy cards كمان also بيشتروا they buy كمان بيشتروا كروتة cart we took the word cart and we arabized it and we made a plural form of it كروتة وكمان بيشتروا كروتة and they also buy cards. I would say that's why roses are very expensive on this day. Kermel Hik, that's why Lourud Ktir Relie Yom Aid al Hub. Let's repeat. Kermel Hik, that's why Lourud, the roses I'm saying, Lourud Ktir Relie, Au Ktir Relien. I can use the plural form of the adjective or I can use the feminine singular form of the adjective as I said. When it comes to standard Arabic, it's only, only, only the feminine singular form of the adjective that you can use. For example, Wurud Relie in standard Arabic would be Wurud Relie. But in the spoken dialect, we have two options. We can say Wurud Relie, but we can also say Wurud Relien. We have the option actually of using the plural form of the adjective whenever we have the plural of objects. Okay, so Kermel Hek, Lourud, Ktir Relien, that's why roses are very expensive. Yom Eid al Hub, on the day of um, Valentine's Day. Yom Eid al Hub. Talking about Valentine's love and the people you love, let's talk about the, the, the relationship statuses that we have. So, for example, if you are married, you can say Anam Jawaz, if you're a guy, Anam Jawaz. And if it's feminine, you have to say Anam Jawaze. Anam Jawaz, Anam Jawaze. If you are engaged, you would say Ana Khatib, Ana Khatbe. Ana Khatib, masculine, Ana Khatbe, feminine. So, Anam Jawaz, Anam Jawaze, Ana Khatib, Ana Khatbe. Now, husband means Jaws or Jawze, my husband. Jaws, husband. Jawze, my husband. Wife means marte, and it's nice to break this word down. Why? Because it comes from the word imra'a in standard Arabic, and imra'a means a woman. 
It's like the person is saying Imra'ati and it becomes Lebanese Arabic and becomes Marte instead of Imra'ati. Marte. And Marte literally means my woman, which means my wife. So, Jawze, my husband. Marte, my wife. Anam Jawaz, I am married, masculine. Anam Jawaz, I am married, feminine. Now, Ana Khatib, I am engaged masculine and a khatbi i am engaged feminine khatib is a fiance in the masculine form khatib and in the feminine word it's khatibe khatibe with a te marbuta when you want to say my fiance it's also khatibe but this time it has the e in the end my khatibe Khatibte, my fiancé feminine. Khatibe, my fiancé masculine. Khatibte, my fiancé feminine. Now, boyfriend, as we said, is sahib, sahbe, feminine. So, sahabte, my girlfriend. And sahbe, my boyfriend. Don't get confused again between sahbe with a te marbuta, which is the feminine form of girlfriend, and sahbe with the e in the end, which means my boyfriend. They sound exactly the same, but they're not written in the same way, and they mean two different things. Sahbe with the e means my boyfriend, and sahbe with the te marbuta means my girlfriend. And if it's confusing, you can guess from the context of the conversation what exactly the person means. I want to also say that Anna Mashtaret Urud Lyom. I didn't buy roses today. Ana mashtaret. Shtaret is I bought. Ana mashtaret. I didn't buy. Ana mashtaret urud liyom. And I want to say I didn't receive roses. Uma ejene. Ma ejene urud. Ejene means literally it came to me. Because it comes from the verb eja. And eja means he came. Ejene with the ne in the end means he came to me or it came to me. Ma ejene urud. I didn't receive. Literally, I'm saying uh, it didn't come to me, which means I didn't receive. Ma ejene urud. I didn't receive roses. And I want to ask you, uento and you in the plural, uento. Eje kon urud chi? Eje kon. So again, came to you, which means did you receive? Eje kon. Zhur or Wrood roses or flowers, Zhur flowers, Wrood uh, roses, Uento, Ejekon Wrood, or I can also ask Uento and you in the plural, Shu Ejekon, Shu, what Ejekon came to you, or what did you receive basically? Uento, Shu Ejekon Elyom, what did you receive today? And before I go, let me ask you one final question and say, وانتو رح تشترو ورود او زهور اليوم and you in the plural رح تشترو are you going to buy رح تشترو ورود roses او زهور or flowers today اليوم وانتو رح تشترو ورود او زهور today let me know in the comment box below so today this was just about uh, just us talking about valentine's day what people do but stay tuned because once i finish the recording this lesson i'm gonna record a very nice lesson about all the love expressions that we have and the different ways we can say i love you to a person in lebanese arabic or different ways we can express and show love in lebanese arabic it's going to be a very nice lesson so stay tuned Bye. Bye. I love you very much. Bye.